Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wow, haven't done this in a while. Today we're taking a look at the Apexel 100mm macro lens and whether or not this is the best macro lens on the market like everyone says it is. I'm gonna be giving you my honest thoughts, show you some image samples and at the end tell you whether or not you should be buying the Apexel 100mm macro lens. So for this video, I decided to change location from where I usually shoot and shot at a park. Turns out this park had a lot of different birds and animal species. I'm definitely coming back here again to shoot some other videos. All right, all right. Back to the Apexel 100mm macro lens. Now, unfortunately, if you have a bulky phone case like I do, this lens won't fit on it. The lens comes with a nice carry pouch for the clip and of course the lens itself. You also get a cover for the front and back glass to keep it clean and free of fingerprints. I was actually pretty surprised by how large this lens actually is, especially compared to the usual macro lens that I used to use. But since it's a 100mm macro lens and the glass is bigger, you can kind of expect to get much better image quality out of this. It's actually pretty simple to get it on. All you need to do is screw the lens onto the clip, which then clips onto your phone even giving you a screw to tighten it so it won't come loose once you're using it. So once it's on your phone, it's pretty much fixed there and won't move around, giving you proper freedom to shoot at any angle you want. So setup is quite easy. Here are some of the first pictures I took using this lens. an external lens is always kind of tricky because there's no autofocus on it so you kind of have to move front and back to get that adjustment but once you get used to it it can be a lot of fun since we're using the primary camera for the lens the image quality is incredible sharp and clear even in low light situations The main reason why I think this is the best macro lens I've ever used is because it's also a tele macro lens. So I don't really need to be super up close to the subject to get great magnification. This is especially important when shooting subjects like insects who would fly away or run away if you get too close. Plus a tele macro lens always gives you really good subject isolation and depth looking exactly how it would if you shoot it on like a professional DSLR macro lens. I personally find the 100mm macro lens to be the best magnification and depth ratio but at some times I do wish I could get a little bit closer. Now the iPhone 13 Pro for example has its own dedicated macro feature but that utilizes the ultra wide angle camera for macro. This means I can get even closer to the subject but the isolation and depth is never as good as a tele macro lens. As you can see in these photos the built in macro feature on the iPhone takes shots with more magnification but the subject isolation and depth just isn't as pleasing. If you want a better comparison between tele macro and the wider macro, I uh, actually did a video with the Xiaomi Mi 11 versus iPhone 12 where I used an external macro lens to compare the two, so you can check that out. Honestly, this was personally the best macro lens I've ever used, even compared to some built-in macro cameras because you get a full 12 megapixel sensor with the iPhone for example, but with other phones you could get more megapixel count with the main sensor, more detail, more depth and even a closer focusing distance, so definitely an awesome lens. So if you'd ask me if you should buy the Apexel 100mm macro lens, I would say go for it. It's a really great lens with awesome image quality, depth separation, and sharpness. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to see you again in the next one.